If you are a Canva user and you're figuring out how to make a outline of a photo for yourself for your cool trendy thumbnails like I did in this thumbnail here, well stick around because I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Welcome to Doc Rock Tips. Aloha, welcome to Doc Rock Tips. I am that dude, Doc Rock. Today we're gonna to talk about creating that cutout photo with the outline that you see all over YouTube thumbnails. It's very, very trendy. Again, just like I have in this thumbnail here. Normally what I do is I create this in Photoshop or maybe a combination of Photoshop and Illustrator. But with the Ecamm community and a lot of people working with limited resources, one of the conversations that always comes up is how would you do that using something like Canva? I'm going to work inside the constraints of Canva and do my best to create what I normally can create in Photoshop, but using an app like Canva. So let's take a look. This is Canva, and as you can see here, what we're trying to create is I made this flyer here and I posted it up in the Ecamm community to get a little bit of feedback. One of the questions that came up was how did I do the trendy white outline or whichever color outline or glow that you see on most of the thumbnails? Well, I did this in Photoshop because it's easy. So I already had that. It was already an asset. It was already on my um, phone at the time. So. The question I got was, how could I create that in Canva? I'm brand new to Canva, I don't know, but we're gonna give it a look. First thing I wanna do is give myself a color to work with. The advantage of doing this is this is gonna be my background. Now you can use any sort of background or whatever, but I'm gonna just go ahead and pop this guy in and I'm gonna get on brand, you know how we do, and I'm gonna lock it in place. So that guy is put. Then I'm gonna go to uploads and this was the one that I had initially posted, but I'm gonna just leave that guy here as inspiration. Here's a different cut, different angle, different photo. I'm gonna go to effects and press remove background. Now my experience with most of the apps is removing background is a little janky. To my surprise, oh my. Canva removes backgrounds amazingly. Look at that, that is just so killer. So now that that guy is baked in, what I wanna do is option drag or copy and paste. And for some reason, I don't know why, maybe it's just me, I have to do it twice. Unbelievable. And at one point it should stick. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I did that, bug in Canva, maybe it's just me but I found myself having to do it more than twice. I'm just putting myself down here in the bottom somewhere. And this guy is the one that's in the back. This guy is the one that's in the front, see? Okay, but you need two copies. Now, what I'm gonna do is click on effects and press dual tone. It doesn't matter which dual tone, cause you're gonna see how we fix this. In here, we're gonna click on these three sliders. I'm gonna take the first chip, move it all the way to white. That looks cool, actually. I'm gonna take the second chip and move it all the way to white. If you don't wanna move it, you can just F, 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 that's white. Okay, so now if I was to pick this picture up and put it on top of that picture, it perfectly fits, correct? So, what I'm gonna try two things. Uh, let me remove other me, I don't need other me. Hey! I got this guy, we're gonna try two different techniques and see which one works better. So for this first technique, I'm going to grow just a little bit, not too much. And then put myself in the middle there. And it's janky. It's not as cool as Photoshop, but hey, that's a, it's a different look. So I want to select the one that's in the back. I think that's it. Nope, that's the one that's in the front. I'll lock the one that's in the front for a second, then click the one that's in the back. And wait, did I click it? Nope. There it is, wait, I got it, I got it. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna go to adjust and I'm just gonna crank up the blur. And so what that does is it gives me a nice little outline. It's not a sharp line like in my other picture, but it does work, right? I can make sure the saturation is down, increase the brightness to make it extra white. It doesn't really do much. Um, if I want, I can twerk the tints a little bit to give it, you know, 
that certain whip appeal. Sorry, baby face. Uh, but that looks about right. So once I have that in place, I'll go ahead and leave that. Click back to my other one and unlock it. Grab both of these guys and group them. Stick myself in the corner and kind of sort of have a decent look. I'm gonna take the top me, drag it over here again. Wait, I grouped it. <laughs> Let me ungroup that, grab the top me, grab the back me and delete it. So you can see with this crop, I did create a line, but that's probably just because I didn't have much headroom on the actual image. If you're gonna do this with your own image, just give yourself a little bit more space. But I can solve that anyway, cause it's something I've discovered using click magnet on TubeBuddy that says the bigger the you in the image, the better. So we can solve that anyway. Let me try another technique that I would do, which is not zoom it and just blur it and see if that works. That also works, looks quite similar actually, but the other one is a little bit more je ne sais quoi. It's a little bit different, but yeah, that kind of works as well. So either one of those techniques will work. Um, I'm sure there's a shortcut for grabbing the item in the back instead of the one in the front, but I don't know how to use Canva, so don't get me started. I'll just select both and then unclick one. So now if I do that, that's the correct one. Um, again, I could go into my adjust, play with the blur a little bit, bring it in a little tighter. It's just enough to stand you off the background, so not too much. Of the two, I kind of like this one better. The edges are soft and weird, but that's just the way it is. So let's delete the ugly version of me. We'll take this version. I know what you guys are saying. All versions of me are ugly. Ha ha ha. We're gonna grab this and we're gonna embiggen it to where I can hide that mistake stick it over here because it turns out according to TubeBuddy, um the i guess images that have more i guess human in it they tend to trend better on uh youtube thumbnails oh i'm sure there's a real science behind that i'm not sure what it is but i can use that to hide the mistake and then i would just come over here grab my logo stick it on this side, put my text in the middle, or you know, since I have my logo on my shirt, I'll make this one tiny. I use all this space to create my text. Yay! So yeah, in theory, it can be done. You know, it's uh, not as cool as Photoshop, but it's very free, <laughs> So or very nine bucks, whichever program, whether you're in pro or not pro. I think remove background might be a pro only feature, but there's a 30 day free trial, so you can do that. I'm, I'm using a free trial right now. So that's why I'm pretty sure that's probably a pro feature. I heard there's other apps out there that would do the background removal. So you could cheat, remove the background, say on your phone or one of the other apps that's out there, save that PNG and bring it in. That's what I did the first time. But yes, it can absolutely be done in Canva. Not quite as pretty as Photoshop. But again, if you're looking for a budget option to Photoshop, check out Affinity Photo. Uh, I think you'll just do better or even GIMP. GIMP is Photoshop for free. I think it would do much better than doing this. And if you wanna see that, make sure you drop a link down in the below and say, okay, Smarty, show me how to do it in GIMP or show me how to do it in Infinity Photo and I'll figure that out as well. But yes, it can be done in Canva. No, it's not gonna be as cool as the other one, but it is possible. Gotta work with what you have. Remember, no excuses, we just get it done. If you'd like to learn more about this type of stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button and pop the bell so that you'll know when I create another video. And since you're here, watch one of these other videos that show up right about now. Aloha.